out here this morning and uh, finished up my patchwork and I think my patches are looking pretty good. There's one here, there's one there, there's one, two, three up there and you kind of can't see them and that's the whole idea just to make them sort of blend in. Uh, some of them's full of... Uh, now you can see I got three patches there, I got one here and I got one here and except for the spot right here which I'm working on and I got that soaking in uh, uh, rust resistant stuff right at the moment so except for that I'll have this part back here finished I'll maybe do a little more grinding up there and then I'm gonna um, rust proof all of this and then I'm gonna put a coat of undercoat on top of it I was up here uh, doing some welding and I wanted to show you my welds because I did just the opposite of what most people was telling me to do. Most people was telling me to turn my, my heat up and my wire speed up. And I had this one guy, he said, turn your heat down as low as you can turn it and adjust your wire speed just right and push your weld and you'll get your best weld. And he was right. This is a, this is a good looking weld, I think. And uh, basically I did just what he said and I sort, of act, I sort of pushed the weld like he said and that could a little bit like I was doing an arc weld. Once I got to where I could see it and sort of control the speed of it and it wasn't going so dang fast, it wasn't that hard to do. So I don't think that's a horrible looking weld. Uh, I notice these welds across here aren't too horrible looking either. So I'm feeling pretty good about it, but I've decided it's raining today and it's turning a little cold and i got some inside work I want to do. And I just thought I'd knock off for the day and come back to this tomorrow. and. Uh, finish grinding and welding on this part back here and then I'll be kind of looking forward to getting a, a, a coat of, uh, you know, finishing this surface with some, uh, thinking I'm going to use some undercoat after I grind the rest of that rust that's over there out of it. And uh, then maybe get Honey Baby to help me set the top on here and adjust my side panels and weld them up and then uh, kind of go from there. It'll be uh, kind of good to get to the point where I can quit with all this. I ought to also paint this dash because it's going to be going back in here and uh, uh, I, to, I think I'll clean that up and squirt a coat of, I, I, I'm thinking I'm going to paint that with uh, plain old black undercoat. Just have a black dash with undercoat on it. Anyway, that's sort of the plan and then see if I can figure out how to fit all the stuff back in there that goes back in there. So, anyway, we'll, just, we'll get with that tomorrow. I'm not going to do it today. i got other things I want to do. So there's all that.